Hello and welcome to another episode of DUK series of Dissect. If you have not already subscribed, then click on that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get all updates. This video is on one of the most interesting and puzzling topics in astrophysics, time travel and how it generates situations like grandfather paradox. So what exactly is time travel? We are all familiar with traveling from one place to another. It is instinctively very easy to understand traveling from one point on earth or in space to another point on earth or in space. But imagining time travel is different. Of course, one is it is impossible to do it as on date. But more importantly, the scientific community finds it difficult to even theorize with absolute certainty how the events will be affected if time travel were even possible. <laughs> Don't worry if you are unable to understand what I mean. Stay with me for a bit and I am sure you will follow. I am going to take help of Hollywood here. If you are a fan of Hollywood movies, then you would know that the topic of time travel is a hot favorite in Hollywood cinema. There have been hundreds of movies which have time travel at the center of their plot or story. If we think about time travel, then there are only two broad possibilities. Someone could travel from present either to the past or to the future. However far or near in the past or future someone travels, there is no third possibility. It is either into the past or into the future. So let's look at two of the iconic movies that have explored these possibilities. One of the most ingenious movies of the recent times on time travel is Interstellar. A very interesting situation develops in the movie due to the time travel plot which takes place in the movie. Spoiler alert! The hero Cooper has to leave Earth for a space mission to visit a system of planets around the large black hole. When he leaves, his daughter Murph was hardly a teen, but when he returns, she was on her deathbed. So the father is younger than the daughter when he returns. From Cooper's perspective, he did time travel into the future. In another iconic movie, Back to the Future, a lot of events happen around the main event of the movie, that is time travel. Marty uses his eccentric friend's invention, a plutonium powered time machine made by modifying a car. In this time machine, dials are used to directly land up at a selected time in the past. There are many versions of Grandfather Paradox and the plot of Back to the Future is like a modified version of Grandfather Paradox. When Marty is in the past, he unknowingly changes some events, such that his parents' first meeting never happens. So if Marty's parents don't meet, then Marty cannot exist. Thought-provoking, isn't it? If you haven't seen both these movies, then I suggest you see these movies. Of course, for scientific research purposes. So what is Grandfather's Paradox? Now, before we go ahead, let me warn you that this is not a regular scenario. You may not agree with the ethics of the scenario. It's okay. We are just theorizing here. But the logic of the scenario is what matters. Imagine a scientist is born who will ultimately create the first working time machine. He decides to go in past, so far back that he meets with his grandfather when he was still young and unmarried. The scientist for some reason kills his young grandfather. Remember what I said, this is possible to do, not necessarily what someone would do, but certainly possible. So now back to the paradox, the scientist has killed his grandfather, let's see what follows. If the grandfather dies young and unmarried, one of the scientist's parent is not born, depending on which grandfather he killed, mother's father or father's father. So if one of the scientist's parent is not born, then the scientist himself is not born. Now it becomes very interesting. If the scientist is not born, then the time machine is not created. And if the time machine is not created, no one goes and kills the grandfather. So then the scientist's parents are alive and they meet each other and the scientist is born and we are back to square one. If you notice, there are two conflicting and coinciding timelines here where grandfather, parents and scientists all are alive and where all are dead or not born at all. There is a lot going on in astrophysics with cutting edge research happening in theories like theory of relativity, quantum mechanics, string theory etc. 
which try to explain the inner workings of the universe and also try to unravel fantastic possibilities that may arise from time travel. Would you be interested in knowing how astrophysicists are resolving these paradoxes? Some of the recent developments in the scientific world make it possible to allow not just time travel but also an explanation and resolution of the paradoxes that we just discussed. If you find this interesting, watch out for our next video where we discuss these possibilities. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for another episode of DUK series. Let us know what you think about the DUK time travel and grandfather paradox video in the comment section below. If you like this video, then click on the like button and share it with your friends. In case you have still not subscribed to our channel, then do subscribe and hit that bell icon. Bye bye.